Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tolson today. We are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover the news that got released in game and yes, you guys can see right here Leela and Atoning Dragoon Kane because they are now perfect trainers and uh, that's great but that's not what, what we're blah, 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 that's not what we're here to talk about so let's go into the event and one thing that i love that they always bring back is the steel castle malfica so you guys will be able to uh basically get the seal of life and power level four for your sword uh you guys can get uh, equipment enhancement for your whips guns and also for your fist weapons which are really really good because we're going to be getting a really good fist weapon on uh friday with the new banner that's going to come out that's right here so uh that's going to be live on uh, thursday if i'm not mistaken let's see right here yeah event period so thursday the 6th this is going to start and make sure you do that because you're going to be able to get some good rewards uh the trust moogle the tickets all that good stuff then we're going to move on to the next one Memories of uh, an automaton. So basically, if you guys played the story and you're in season two, you know who those characters are, and uh, they're really, really cool characters. They have a cool story, and this is going to be their story event. So in my case, uh, I am really happy about that because I need to farm a lot of these bad boys right here to finish leveling up Sephiroth and Atoning Dragoon Kane. Because basically, the drop rate whenever I did it, uh, I think it was two, three weeks ago. Uh, I didn't get the crystals that I needed, but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get the crystals that I need this time. And limited equipment, the magical cloak, uh, it's an accessory, magic and spirit plus 20 and MP plus 15%. So if you guys are new to this game and you need something like that, well, this is not that bad at all. And uh, crafting uh, event limited equipment, you guys will be able to do the Gatling arm. Basically, it's a gun, two-handed weapon, attack 84, enables LB power up function, basically boosts your LB gauge every single turn, which is really, really cool. And uh, make sure you do this if you are new to this game. And even if you're not new and you still want some good equipment, you guys can always make that. Then, we're gonna go right here, Regina. She's finally out, guys. Uh, a little bit faster than on the JP version, that's for sure. I was expecting maybe another character instead of her or a regular banner before she would come out. Because basically she's way ahead of her, way, way ahead of her time uh, compared to the JP version. But she's a really, really strong finisher. Uh, she is not that easy to play around. So uh, she could do a lot of damage. That's for sure. She can do tons of damage. But enough of me talking. Let's go over the banner. It's going to be a step up like all the time. The good news is she's the only 5 star on this banner. Which is really, really good. And you guys can have a peek of the banner right here. It's going to be 24,000 lapis. 9 plus 2, 9 plus 2, 8 plus 3. So step 3 is guaranteed a rainbow. 9 plus 2 on step 4 with that beautiful 90% chance to get a blue crystal ticket. And basically on step 5 you get an 8 plus 3. Uh, and it's... Uh, is she guaranteed? Times one guaranteed. So basically, I think she's going to be guaranteed on step five, which is really, really nice if that's the case. But let's go over her stuff. So her super trust master, battle intelligence, boost attack by 60% and boost physical damage against demons, fairies, and machina monster. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's a 50% buff. Then we go power amplifier, which is her trust master reward. Uh, it's an hat. Attack 40, defense plus 25, and spirit plus 25. Enables gunslinger boost attack when equipped with a gun. Uh, on the JP version, this is a 30% buff. So hopefully it's going to be something similar. Or if they want to give it a little global upgrade. Because we don't know what they're going to do. Uh, if they want to give a little bit of upgrade, uh, global upgrade, it might go up to 50% or 40%. But 30% nonetheless is pretty good. Uh, since you don't have that many gun users in the game. Then, featured abilities. Basically, you get her Penta Tactics. She's going to be able to use five abilities in one turn, but you cannot use the same ability on the same turn uh, more than once. Basically, uh, she has a lot of moves that's going to boost her LB gauge uh, fill rate. Basically, you need 100 crystals for her LB. So you're going to be able to uh, Quinta cast, if I'm not, Penta cast, sorry, because Quinta is not that. Penta cast, so you're going to be casting let's say ability one two three four five you're gonna max out their limit burst then on the second turn you're gonna do a limit burst turn three comes around you do the same thing you're gonna cast her five moves get that limit burst up and cast that limit burst so uh with the uh the addition of uh 
Folka and Citra and Fina and Lid, you guys will be able to make your party chainers. And you're going to have a nice strong chain finisher with her. So that's a nice way that you guys can utilize Regina. And if you guys have uh, those uh, beautiful summer units, well, you're going to be able to use them a little bit better with Regina, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you're going to have power, power generator. Sorry. One use every four turns. Boost attack, defense, magic, and spirit feel LB gauge and boost damage of certain abilities for self. Then you're going to have Regina Cannon, deal partial and mitigate damage to one enemy and boost LB gauge for self, which is pretty nice. Vesvia, in my opinion, is a really, really cool unit, especially because of her trust master. Uh, the Nutkin or Air Pin, basically an accessory boost your attack by 40 on raw stats and you basically get an extra 40% uh, on magic. So magic plus 40 and magic plus 40%, that thing is really, really really good so trust me this is really really nice and if you do the step up you might get plenty of her so that's really really cool or featured abilities we can go all over it because you know what six stars are still pretty good and we never know what they're gonna do in the future with four to six stars uh aqua slicer deal partial unmitigated water magic damage and reduce water resistance for all enemy pretty nice deal partial unmitigated water magic damage to one enemy i want to be a nutkin Escape from battle uh, for a certain number of turns and boost magic for self. Nice. Then Amber, really, really nice trust master. Also, it's a uh, fist weapon, two-handed fist weapon. Attack 130, fatal knuckles. Really, really nice also. Like I was saying, if you guys get that, Steel Castle Melfica, get that attack up because this thing could be really, really good, especially on a character like Sabin if you have him 7-star. Featured abilities, uh, Demolishing Fist, reduce defense and deal partial and may the damage to one enemy. Fortress attack, Fortis attack, damage one enemy and boost attack for self and enables Demolishing Fist for one turn. All right, so maybe this move is locked behind this one. And uh, Exo Chakra, restore own HP and MP. Pretty nice. And Kurowa, let's be honest, just uh, er, is Trust Master boost magic by 30% and you can equip rods. Not that great. Not that great. But nonetheless, that banner looks really, really nice. And if you guys are a big fan of Regina and uh, or a big fan of her damage, go for that banner because it's going to be really, really good. Then, notices. We're going to go right here. Uh, I think it was only this one, right? So basically, with the step up banner, you're gonna be able to get those beautiful tickets, and uh, those once you get four of those tickets, you're gonna have a 20% chance to get Regina. So it's gonna be a rainbow that's gonna come down, and it's gonna be 20% chance that this rainbow is gonna be Regina. So that's one thing to take uh, note for. And then there's this one introducing the 5% rainbow summon banner. Let's go over it. Major boost drop rates for featured units. Regina limited to six per player uh, obtain one five star guaranteed 20% Regina ticket with each summon and this summon banner so summon Regina into your party it's gonna start Friday you go right here you do this and then you're gonna have a chance of getting uh, Regina it's a 5,000 lapis so it's a 5,000 run you basically get a uh, beautiful ticket right here uh, did I say wait wait I just want to make sure of something just got to make sure of something. Uh, we're going to go event because the latest info is uh, bugging me. So right here. All right. So that was my mistake. Basically, you guys do not get those tickets right here. You're only going to get those tickets. This ticket right here. You're only going to get it when you do this banner right here. So basically, uh, it's a little bit stupid in my opinion because now you have to summon whether on the step up or you have to summon on this one. So if you go... Four runs of this, it's going to cost you 20,000 Lapis and you're going to get four of those tickets, which is going to give you a 20% chance to get a beautiful Regina. Or you do the Step Up Banner, which is going to get 24,000 Lapis uh, and you might have a chance to get more Rainbow. So it's really up to you. You have to decide which one you want to do. So yeah, that's the one thing. And the maintenance is going to be scheduled on Wednesday, like every single time. Did I miss something else in the notice? Uh, nope, this is not going to be, this is going to be, yeah, so this, we're going to have a King Mog event maybe next week. So we should have a King Mog in the event next week because of this guaranteed 5-star special summon. So that's pretty cool. And since we're on this video, you know what, let's just finish with uh, A5 plus 1 because today we got our 5 plus 1. Let's see if we can pull a rainbow. So let's crack this bad boy. Let's bring this up. 
If you guys want to summon for me, go for it. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you guys. Let me know down below, always in the comment section. Also, guys, if you guys are going to be summoning for Regina, uh, Vesvia, Amber, Croa, all these characters right here. If you're interested in Regina, or are you better off waiting for the next character? Because right now, they're not following uh, their schedule like they did in JP, right? So, uh, we never know. We might be getting CG Charlotte at the end of the month, which is a super, 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 super strong uh, magic cover tank, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'm pretty sure that's it. Magic cover tank. Whatever. She's a really, really strong unit. So maybe you guys are keeping your stuff for her. So without further ado, like always, guys, please leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more. Comment down below. And let's crack this bad boy in three, two, one. Crack this bad boy. Summon away, people. Let's see if somebody out there can get a rainbow. Because it's not going to be me. Never. Oh! Never mind! Aurora Frivia! My blade seems to enjoy your company. Please, uh, please allow us to follow you. Indeed! Uh, girl, you can follow me as much as you want. So, wow! Really, really cool. Guys, let me know down below. What did you guys summon? If you are going to summon again for Regina... And, uh, well, hey, it's been a long time since a 5 plus 1 actually gave me something. So, Gumi, thank you for that beautiful ticket. On this note, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.